Hey guys, we are using these figures that are growing and we want to create a quadratic equation to represent these figures and how they're growing and changing. Okay, I did some problems like this with my niece the other day and I'm not going to lie, when she first showed them to me, I was like, I don't know how to do that. But I went to YouTube, oh my gosh, and I found this video that helped me so much learn how to do it. I'm going to link that in the description for you. My video is not going to be exactly the same, but he did help me a lot. So I did want to put that link down there. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is we're just going to kind of think about what my next figures are going to look like. So here we have a square, right? That's two by two. Then we have a square that's four by four. Then we have a square that's six by six. So I can probably guess the next one's going to be eight by eight, right? But the purpose of having an equation for this is so I could be like, all right, what's figure 273 going to look like, right? That's what I want the equation for. And I don't want to have to draw 273 of these. I don't have time for that. So I want to be able to find an equation. So we know whatever, as this gets bigger, we might call it figure X. That's what we want to know, right? Figure X, meaning I can plug in whatever number I want. It's going to be a square, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table comparing the figure number to how many boxes are in each of these figures. So if I make a table here, X is going to be my figure number. Alrighty, so I have figure one and Y is going to be the number of squares in each figure. So in figure one, we have four squares. In figure two, we have it's four by four. So we have 16 squares and in figure three, we have it six by six, so it is 36 squares, right? Now I could keep going, but I don't really wanna do that, right? Especially if I'm looking for a really high number for my figure X. So I wanna be able to come up with this equation. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to label the dimensions here. So this square is two by two. This square is four by four. This one is six by six, right? Now, something that guy said in the video that I linked below that really clicked with me was a lot of times we try to relate this figure to this one and this one. That's just kind of what we naturally want to do. But we're not going to do that. We are going to relate this figure and its dimensions to the figure number, okay? So if you notice... For figure one, the sides are two and two. For figure two, the sides are four and four. For three, they are six and six. Do you notice how the figure number is related to the dimensions? It's double, right? So if we were to have a shape for figure X, we don't know exactly how big it would be, right? We can put some dotted lines. It's going to be something like that, right? When it's figure one, this side is two. Figure two, it's four, three, it's six. So it's double, right? So I can assume that figure X, this side is going to be double it or two X, right? Now, not always. If our figure were a different dimensions, it may not be the same every time, right? But on this one, the same is for the top. So it is double the figure number, right? So up here is also going to be 2x. So if I have the two sides, the length and the width, I can figure out the area, right? Just like here, 2 times 2 was 4. 4 times 4 was 16. My equation here for figure x, whatever figure we want, is going to be the number of squares, right, y, is equal to the length times the width, so 2x times 2x. 
Okay. Now we do like to multiply those if we can. So we are going to say y equals two times two is four x times x is x squared. And there is that quadratic equation that now we could say what's the 500th figure? How many squares is it going to have? We could plug that in and figure it out. All right. I hope that was helpful. I also will link another video where the figure is a bit different. It has a box on top or something that is a little bit different. But if you did this, you can figure it out. Figure. <laughs> All right. I hope this helped. Thanks.